Hey guys, we by me back again after uh, showing you those uh, nice little videos and all the, the five Garrison products that just showed up here. I was a little excited to uh, try a Garrison product, so uh, tonight I'll be reviewing from the Garrison Brewing Company in Halifax, Nova Scotia, their Imperial IPA. Unfiltered strong ale, 7.0 or 7% ABV. 500 milliliter bottle. This robust, full bodied, and complex strong ale combines caramel malt and intense top bitterness with a lingering citrusy finish. Ingredients water, malt hops. Now, um, this was sent to me by the awesome uh, El Harlock of Hewley Beer Reviews. Um, you know, during, uh, it was sent to me in a beer trade we did. Uh, in the fall, I guess. So I'm hoping it's still good. It should be. Um, the standard Garrison Cannon Cap. Brew by me. My BB Bafla. My Pilsner Urikel glass. Let's open her up and uh, give her a try. Smells good. Alright. Wish it was a big glass. <laughs> hey, let's, let's give her a smell. Mmm. Smells good. Um, so unfiltered. Unfiltered. Two fingers of head. Orangey. Gold in color. Nice carbonation. Very similar smells off the bottle and the glass. So, um, so basically, the style is an Imperial IPA, um, also known as a double IPA. It's 7% ABV from Halifax, Nova Scotia, Garrison Brewing Company. Um, sent to me by L. Hullerock of Hewley Beer Reviews. Thank you to him. Big thanks, buddy. Thanks for this beer. It's awesome. Truly appreciated. Um, so, smells I get is you know, your average, your sweetness, your maltiness. Lots of hoppiness. Like, you can smell the hops. It's like right there in your face. Mm. I love it. Uh, just the smell is awesome. Um, there's a, a nice fruity character there. Um, um, some floral hints and very citrusy. Mm, smells good. So, that's about it for smell. Uh, there's not much more. Uh, it smells really good. Anyways, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna dive into this and give her a taste. Mm. Yeah, this is really good. Another Garrison product that's awesome. Uh, it's awesome. Very, very tasty. Um, not extremely bitter. Like some IPAs, is a very good uh, balance between the malt and the hoppiness. Nice, smooth mouthfeel. About medium carbonation. Um, I'm going to say it's a medium bodied beer. 
almost pushing up on a, a full body because there's so much going on. Lots of malt, lots of hops. Is, uh, Mm. It's awesome. Really, really good beer, guys. Uh, if you can find this beer in your area, give it a whirl because it's damn good. It's really good. Um, you have to be you have to be into hoppy beers, obviously, because it is uh, more bitter than an average beer, and it is unfiltered, so uh, it's a lot more of a mouth, if you know what I mean. Um, Go sit down. Go sit down. Daddy's busy. You can't be here. Go. Um, yeah, so if you can find it, give it a whirl. Thanks, Elrock. This is awesome. Um, for the taste. Up front, it's very sweet and very bitter. At the same time, nice maltiness there. Um, there's some caramel tones, some toffee tones. I'm getting some like uh, fruity esters, like fruity taste. So maybe it's from uh, one of the hops they use, or maybe it's just uh, the yeast they use. Um, but it's not very, very dominant the fruit that I'm getting. Um, nice floralness there. Um, maybe uh, floral is more like I should say more like a a piney floralness because. Uh, and getting a nice a floral piney hint in the mouth. Um, and then the citrus is at the back, so up front, sweet, bitter. Um, then you get the, the you get the pine and the citrus at the back. Um, it's a really good beer. There is chunks in it because it is unfiltered. Um, anyhow, that's about it I can tell you for the smell and the taste. Um, as for the malt and hop characters, basically it's a it's a it's a, it's a pale ale, an India pale ale. So most pale ales and IPAs um, use the standard malt base, your two row. Um, now to get the the complex color they're going to use some um, I'm guessing some Munich malt in there a slight bit maybe five to eight ounces of Munich malt and then uh, some caramel crystal malt to, to finish it out but that's going to be the specialty malt there the caramel uh, crystal as for the hops I'm going to say that there's magnum in here and that's the bittering hop because so I think it has uh, magnum to me has the, the most alpha acid so the most bang um, then amarillo which is giving it that uh, piney citrusy character followed by cascade now cascade is a basically the cascade is probably going to be your uh, aroma flavoring hop um, it's a very, 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 very uh, easy to use hop. It, it, it works in all kinds of ways. You can use it for bittering, you can use it for aroma, you can use it for taste. It's up to you really what you want to use it for. It's a low alpha acid, so you have to use more um, than if you were using something like Amarillo or Magnum or uh, even Sriracha Ace. No, that's a big alpha acid hop. Anyways, uh, other than that, uh, it has a bunch of awards under your, under their belt. Excuse me, just on the bottle it says Beer of the Year in 2007 and 2008. But I'm sure uh, I'm sure they have more awards than that uh, because it is such a, a very good beer. Anyways, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, I have a bunch of other uh, reviews I've already done. They're on the computer. I just have to edit them and everything and. I have a bunch of beers in the fridge that I'm ready to uh, review and stuff like that. So, anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. Please rate, comment, subscribe, leave any suggestions or ideas in the comments box. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you want to do beer trades, let me know. I'll do my best to do a beer trade with you. I have lots of uh, 
lots of overstock, I guess you'd say. Um, anyways, um, thanks guys. This was a review on the Garrison's Imperial IPA from the Garrison Brewing Company in Halifax, Nova Scotia, sent to me by Al Hullrock of Hewley Beer Reviews. Thanks a lot, buddy. This is truly awesome, truly appreciated. Thanks a lot, man. Bye.